Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. I am Sefian FM, and today we're taking a look at Luca Romero. This is one that was left in the comments uh, of another video. Figured I'd try him out. Again, if you want to see certain players or certain tactics, definitely leave them in the comments below. I will check them out as soon as I can. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to stop with the players for the most part and basically just concentrate on the tactics themselves. But again, this was left in a comment of one of the videos I've done previously. So we're going to check out Luca Romero today. He is Lazio right now, 17-year-old Argentinian, although I think he was born in Mexico, if I'm not mistaken. As I'm looking on his Wikipedia page, he was born in Mexico, raised in Spain, but apparently to Argentinian parents. Uh, right now contracted a Lazio, 10.5 to 32 million, 8.5k per week as a breakthrough prospect. So his transfer value may be a lot, but his weekly wages hopefully won't be. But if we take a look at his numbers, actually, technically, not too bad. Some 11s, uh, 12, 13s here and there. Tackling's not great. Uh, marking's awful. <laughs> Heading of six is not great, so he'll probably grow into these back midfield spots, but again, the defensive pieces, not the greatest. Uh, positioning of six, all, not that great, leadership of five, but mentally, 16 determination, work rate, 18 natural fitness and physicals. Uh, he's got acceleration and pace, so he's got some really good numbers. I definitely want to see some grow, but overall, could definitely play throughout Europe. Now, in real life, he just joined AC Milan from Lazio for a whopping 3 million transfer fee. That is it. 3 million euros, that is. So, a 3 million euro transfer fee. So, right now, in, in real life, he's actually made his way to Milan. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see because that is a pretty nice team. I definitely want to check that team out a little more. But we will see in-game where he actually ends up in the next 10 years. Well, 10 years on, end of the 2033 season, you can see he's actually at Manchester United, rated at 50 million to 150 million, 205k per week as a regular starter. He's doing really well. Uh, you can see he has picked it up in a couple of spots on that midfield line. He's still doing very well in the attacking mids in a striker position. Crossing a 15 is fantastic. Technique of 15. He's, I mean, he's definitely grown some of these numbers. Sadly, the defensive piece is still not there. But again, you, you want him going forward, not really tracking back all that much. Marking of 6, not all that great. Leadership of 10, positioning of 9 has grown a bit. But acceleration of pace has grown a bit too. Overall, looking pretty nice, I definitely have to say. Career stats-wise, you can see he started out at Mallorca, RCD Mallorca, moved his way to Lazio on a free, although I did read on Wikipedia, on uh, Transfer Market, that it was actually a 1 million euro fee. But whatever. Um, then moved his way to Hertha Berlin in this game. 37.5 million in Germany. Did very well in Germany. And clearly ushered the move to 72 million in Manchester United in the Premier League. Has done very well in the Premier League. So that is fantastic to see. Milestone-wise, he actually has a fair bit. So he did help Lazio's under-20s promoted to the Italian under-20 Primavera 2. Got Italian Youth Club Invitational Best Player. Uh, let's see, inducted in the overall best 11s, helped Hertha Berlin get to the Bundesliga uh, as promoted from the champion Bundesliga 2 champions. First international cap and goal against Costa Rica and South Korea. 2026-27, German players, player of the year, third place, and German's player, newcomer of the year. Carabao Cup winners with Manchester United, Emirates FA Cup winners, did the double that season. Uh, again, continuing on, UEFA Europa League winners, Argentine World Player of the Year. So he's got a ton to his name and to club. So Argentine World Player of the Year, again, Emirates, F I, does he, Premier League Champions, there you go. Has not won the Champions League yet, but Premier League Champions, FA Cup winners, Carabao Cup winners. Uh, you've got a ton of trophies right there in your own cabinet. Now, this is definitely what you love seeing. Not a lot of injuries whatsoever in 10 years, in over 10 years, uh, but a couple of minors, two moderates, everything is slight. Really nice. Tactically, he is being used in both the left and the right on the attacking side. 
30 for Club on the left, 7 goals, 4 assists, 719. On the right, 22, 8 goals and 3 assists, 734. Yeah, primarily I would stick with him on the right, personally. Uh, internationally, though, 9 appearances on the right, 3 goals, 2 assists, 743. All over the place. He is doing a fantastic job. Uh, clearly one of world's global superstars. Now, one thing I did not mention, he's got a negative 8.5 potential. So that means at the start of the save, when you start your save, he will be anywhere from 140 to 170, and he looks pretty nice. I'm definitely guessing he is closer to the 170 mark than the 140 in this save. But we are going to skip again straight to his retirement and see how he ends up. Well, 2041 seems to be when he hangs up his boots. He's definitely uh, picked up that midfield center role a bit too. Uh, but he is in Mexico at Tigres. Rated at 550 to 1.6 million, 32 and a half K per week as a star player, 36 years old. Acceleration and pace are definitely down. However, his mentals are fantastic. Uh, his technicals still, I mean, he's still got the marking issues, the positioning issues, the heading issues, but overall, I mean, his stats look really nice. Technique of 15, passing, free kick, first touch, uh, finishing, crossing, all look absolutely amazing. Uh, for a 36-year-old who cannot run to save his life. But you can see in the Liga Bancomer MX, uh, Mexico, 39 appearances, 7-2-4. I mean, he's done a lot of good things in the Mexican League so far. We'll see in his career stats in just a minute. But clearly, uh, he has done very well in his career and is a great. I mean, it seems to be a little early, actually, to retire, but you're kind of going out on top to the most part. I mean, no offense, Mexican League fans, but you are in Mexico. You're no longer with Manchester United, but still. 113 caps, 18 goals, doing really well. Career stats, he did stay at Manchester United until the 2038-39 season. Uh, only five appearances that season, 17 the season before. Sevens throughout, though. I mean, except for that last season, five bad appearances, apparently. Made his way to Mexico and has done a fantastic job. I don't know why he's retiring. I kind of wondered that myself. But he did move on a free. Uh, and I mean, his entire career, definitely closer to, the, to that 170 mark than the 140. He has done very well in his career. So it looks like he did win a couple more Argentine World Player of the Year. Uh, Premier League champions again. There's no Champions League, Europa Conference League winners. So it looks like they kind of dipped back down into form. Uh, but still, you know, he's done very well in everything. I mean, 2040-41 Mexican player of the season at the end of his career. Yeah, he's, he's, I mean, again, play another season. See how it goes. Get some more money. Now, it does look like he has moved to midfield right, 31 for club, 5 goals. I mean, still, 5 goals, 9 assists, 7-3-5. Has done an amazing job. Striker, 15. Midfield center, 4. And then midfield left, 3. Uh, I mean, he can play all over that, that front half of the pitch. It's pretty, I mean, it's insane. Definitely, definitely, definitely check this guy out. Uh, see how he ends up in your save. Where he starts out, is he closer to that 140 or 170 mark? But he looks like a beast to end all beasts. I mean, he looks like he will do a fantastic... If he gets this up here in that 170 mark, he looks like he's going to do an absolutely fantastic job, no matter where you are in Europe. But that is it for Luca Romero and his career. I am Stephanie FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.